So welcome back everybody with the Mountain Trail Challenge. This is Group A and this is going to be the final match of today between Hey Hey United and Dusa Gaming. Hey Hey, if they win this one, they're through. They have 2-0 and then the last game versus My Insanity will just determine whether or not they're going to be the number one in this tournament or if My Insanity will be the number one instead for this group, not the tournament. Hello me. And Dusa Gaming, they're already out. They're just playing to get some more experience, get some recognition coming and let's see how they will perform versus this hyper aggressive hey united squad well slash what do you think yeah this should be uh, maybe not as interesting as the game but uh, hey is definitely the stronger team here uh you saw they managed to beat the base cannon uh but who knows maybe do the gaming with nothing to lose they might go for some unusual strategy just to try it out and perhaps upset and manage to beat the yeah, we'll see, but uh, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be Spirit Breaker <laughs> coming out from Dusa. That's expected. Yeah, and uh, he p first picked the next assassin. I guess they see him as most important for the strat, or maybe just a pick that doesn't reveal too much. You could you could mid him like they did last game. You could put him on the off lane, or even run him as a support. So it, it doesn't give away too much. No, you can run him essentially anywhere. Reserve but, time. Yeah, okay, maybe not hard carry, but apart from that, he's a survival yeah. friendly rule. That would be weird. I don't know, what would be the build up for a number one position, Nick's assassin? I uh, actually don't know. Yeah, I don't think you could do that, but. Uh, you can, hey, it's Dota. You can do anything. You might lose, but. Anything can work, yeah. as uh, Big Daddy said. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think that will be happening yet. And they actually answer back with Dazzle Respect. Okay, that's a really tough combo to kill. Respect is going to be so strong this game already. Yeah, quite a classic, just a, a ton of physical damage coming in and the hero that keeps the Bristle back alive. Both teams using up quite a bit of reserve time very early for those picks. I think that's just... Well, that's something Dusa does apparently every single time. They they use the first two, first minute, they already use all of their time in the first pick, and then they just pick, 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 pick all the time, real fast. Mm. I think then, if you get, so, uh, what is the curveball thrown at you, I think that at that moment you might have a little bit of a problem, because you have almost no reserve time. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly, if there's some unusual pick. Uh, but you want to go with the Queen of Pain here. I mean, I like that choice. Uh, you can threaten the Dazzle, who needs to be a bit careful, usually he stands back, but the Queen of Pain can just jump in the back line and burst him down. Also here, that's just with the blink, very mobile, and Bristleback is going to have a hard time catching up to her. Yeah, that's only two. Even though you have Nasal Goo for a slow, that's not going to keep the quap down. Uh, yeah, which is what you want to do against the Bristle, you want to kite him, you don't want to be tanking the Bristleback, that's for sure. Something you can be doing, although it could work out as well for Queen of Pain to keep Bristle back a little bit more. Play. You're you're actually wondering what will you, what will they do against it? Like, will they pick up maybe an AA to just make sure that he can't regenerate too fast? But you already have a Dazzle as well, so counter him, but you can you don't counter him completely. So. Mm, I mean, the Nyx also provides a fair bit of control against the Bristleback. Uh, he's going to be spamming the quills, so getting the Carapace done is almost guaranteed. And then you can follow it up with an impale as well. Most of the mana burn actually hurts Bristleback quite a bit because uh, for a strength hero he has quite a high intelligence gain. And he does need the mana to keep spamming his quills. Especially in the beginning, that's going to be tough. They're just not going to be able to do a lot in the beginning. If he starts maxing a little bit more into his, uh, his mana burn, yeah, it's going to be tough. But Shadow Shaman versus Nyx, I'm not completely yeah. sure that you want to do that. It's quite weak against Nyx, but perhaps they just want to have some kind of five-man death ball lineup. Um, and, I mean, they already have pretty good sustain with Dazzle. Bristleback is their front liner, and now with the rest of Wards, uh, they have a lot of physical damage to bring down towers and racks later on. Reserve time. It's not free, you know. Yeah, which, again, it, it suits the new meta. <laughs> it's... Yeah, and that's that's the one thing Nyx is terrible at, like defending Pushing. towers. He doesn't offer anything. He can't. Yeah, it's just anything to do with towers is bad for Nyx. 
any tower is just terrible for me. He, he can push them down. He can't come near them because then, you know, when he did that, you will see him and all those things. So. And he's, he's just really a fighter and a ganker. And with Zeus, it that doesn't help him. Yeah. Out. Yeah, not Zeus. Yeah, he's decent at deep pushing, um, but I think uh, it's just Zeus is one of the highest damage dealers in the game, and Bristleback uh, he wants to stay in the front line, so he's gonna be always uh, eating that arc lightning and the static field damage. And of course, Zeus will never be able to burst the Bristleback, but it's still a lot of damage coming his way, and uh, that's what they kind of need right now. Zeus, they kind of it gets a fiber. <laughs> So they're really going yeah. tanky, like this is like early five men straight up. Mecha just Yeah, going. they're gonna uh, yeah. I'm assuming it'll be a safe in Bristleback just farming up tank items, BKB maybe. Viper just uh, going middle rushing the mech. Also Viper well one of the better heroes to lean with against Queen of Pain, who normally is a lane dominator, but uh, yeah, not against the Viper. A corrosive skin and just Yeah, their strike and everything else that Viper is to offer is not it's just so good yeah, for Queen yeah. of Pain. It's just good for just pretty much anybody. Yeah, if you're Queen of Pain, you don't want to use your Shadow Strike on a Viper because you're going to end up taking more damage yourself. Yeah, I actually saw a match once, but that was then a uh, Silencer with Aghanims versus a, a Viper with the uh, max level Corrosive Skin. It took away half <laughs> of its health. Like, if you're in a team fight and you just so you pop your ultimate, it's just sure you're going to die. Like, five seconds yeah. remaining. Die like you have HP from just what from guessing your own skill, Radiant like that's not what you want. Band. Hey, hey, oh, they pick up the Phoenix, Phoenix. but that was slow okay. down the pushing. Yeah, now this reveals their lanes a little bit more, although still, all these heroes are quite flexible. I mean, uh, pretty much everyone but except for Queen of Pain can be run as either a core or a support. Uh, yeah, like all four of these heroes can go in the off lane and. Queen of Pain and Zeus can also be mid, so yeah, it's still, it's just not clear what the, what their exact plan is. Uh, but meanwhile, for Duza, it's yeah, it's quite standard. And... Yeah. Lark? I can Lark, particularly. Why do they ban out Slark? Get with Edge and ganking. Mm, I mean, or Silver Edge, Shadow Blade, then go ganking. Step further. Remaining. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Like, if they do five man early, Stark is not that great again. Uh, no, at fighting into five, you shouldn't be afraid to fight versus a Slark when you're five manning. Nothing to be. Yeah, exactly. And you have the AOE damage from the the quills and the dazzle heal. This is not. I would not expect that bad. Maybe just. A, I don't think they actually have a big Slark space. No, matter. not really. But we'll see. I, the Tinker is still in there. And I do see Hey Hey picking them up again. Templar Assassin. Oh, and the Templar Assassin. That's Dark interesting. Versus Phoenix. It has an advantage and it definitely has its disadvantages. Like, you get hit by one bird, your uh, whole reflection is gone. Yeah. Queen of Pain has mm. uh, her poison to take it down. I mean, it fits their overall physical damage lineup. Like, they just kind of. Yeah. We, we don't want magical damage, you know, screw that, just go all physical. And, uh, I mean, it's another hero that can hit towers quite hard, and I'm assuming we're gonna see Blink Dagger on TA, and she's gonna be Five somewhat their initiator, because right now they have. The only thing the other heroes can really do is you run at the enemy. Non dying, okay, that's. Yeah, so that's not something you wanna be running at. So that's gonna be Tombstone together with uh, the egg, and then what? What you gonna do? <laughs> that is actually yeah, a really no. strong combo. No, the dying. He also he got buffed, and yeah, now it's buffed. If, if I were to do the gaming and I see that on dying, I would definitely not be happy. Um, <laughs> if we have the tools to bring down the tombstone, I mean, again, TA, Bristol, and Viper can do they hit just the shadow quite shaman fast. with the wars when they're already down, and after that you pull yeah, it. Yeah, but. But still, all these heroes, uh, and again, the, the strength sapping is going to be so good, especially in someone like Bristleback, who, you know, he relies on the damage reduction, but if your strength is taken away, yeah, you can't reduce that, obviously. Oh, this is going to be so <laughs> nasty from here. Yeah, I like I, mean, I like the lineup, it's it's just classic hehe <laughs> things, like, it's just aggressive yeah. again, like... We're gonna run at you and we're gonna try and end it as early as possible. 
But I think Dusa is a little bit better equipped to deal with it. Then, yeah, then basically along yeah. the last game. Because what is it? TA is able to fight a little bit earlier. Fiber is a mid to early game fighter as well. And the Bristleback is, once he gets a little bit of items going, he's already really strong. And if it does go late game, I want to say Dusa this time, 100%. Like, hey, hey, don't really have yeah. anything. Maybe Zeus is seen as a really late late game hero, but still, is he going to get there? Well, looking at the heroes, it's going to be a Queen of Pain mid. And yeah. support, yeah, support Undying and support Phoenix. Those. No, no, maybe I think the coon, the coon is a support, I believe. Oh, okay, so okay. it's going to be Zeus support. Yeah, Zeus Phoenix. Undying support, yeah. Oh, the one question is, I'm still actually not completely sure about from HWI Higo Smith. Okay, that's set in stone. Where mm -hmm. the hell are the other four going? Is this aggressive dry lane or dual lanes? Like, what are they gonna do? I know Nia is this, the Earth laner, so. But, mm -hmm. yeah. maybe, maybe they did like last time, they just sent the next mid to farmers. Uh... No, get get the early levels. Not not so much for the farm, but just yeah, to get the levels. I wanna say he, he can farm first, just the first the viper. Or maybe if yeah, TA goes okay. there. TA is yeah. fine though. Annoying, but I think you should be fine with your base regen if you get a bottle. Who's doing this flow? Flow, shut up. The flow anymore. Yeah, a lot of things coming up. <laughs> they don't seem to be too happy about the pauses. I can get that. They were actually supposed to play another tournament now, and for some weird reason, now we're put ahead. I I, I lost complete interest in it. So, <laughs> okay, we're ready. Uh, so we're all back now. Oh, and if you're having legs, it might be because the quality is too high. Just so you know, because I'm having zero legs and I have sixty FPS, so. I am pretty sure it's not coming from me. And I have zero frames drop on Yes. But yeah, we actually did introduce Hey Hey, so I'll just go over the squad of Doos are real fast. We have Green Mungo. Not Enchanted Mago. I think he should change his name on the Shadow Shaman. <laughs> and we have Live Long Live Long Strategy Hello Me on the Viper. We have 44 playing the Templar Assassin. We have Nord playing. I can click on him. There you go. He plays the Dazzle. And we have the Bristleback playing, being played by Flo. So it's going to be in dual lanes here from from Duza, it seems. Or they're going uh, yeah. to leave Why? the Bristleback alone and also put Dazzled. Both possible. Okay. Yeah, Bristleback is obviously quite strong one on laner. Uh, but if it, not against the Phoenix. I think the Phoenix will have too easy of a time if they leave him alone against the Bristleback. Once he gets some Fire Spears, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, and also... We'll have to see who's mid for... Yeah, it looks like it'll be the Queen of Pain mid. Yeah. Yeah, okay, they, they even pull their Sentry to use against the TA. So yeah, Queen of Pain should have a pretty good time against uh, the TA mid. Yeah. But the first the Viper, it should, it should have been a lot harder, but... Gonna... You could have put the TA maybe bot and give him safe lane farm, put flow on the offlane. Because you can't even leave him alone here versus uh, Nihis. He already has to eat his first tango and it's not that's even without them dying being there. Yeah. Once the machine is here, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, so bottom lane is almost certainly gonna go Nihis uh, way and mid as well. Uh but at least the top lane. Nyx, Zeus, yeah, they... I think they, they could contest this fairly well with it. Once you get yeah, like the shackle off on somebody... Well, actually, they have two ways to get it out, so... Nah, but it, they don't need to. Viper is just a lane dominator, and they can't do much to the Viper. They only have magical damage, and you know, once he has the cruise, he's cannot. It'll be fine. So, top lane, well, dependable on how Hehe he plays it. If they will lose the bot top lane a little bit, but mid and bot will be... 44 is already. Yeah. Oh, well, you can see actually, after the first two pre uh, 44 is pulling quite ahead of the Queen of Pain, just the Naskets, which somewhat to be expected, but I'm gonna see HWA putting up the aggression as he levels up his poison. 
Yeah, I do think, yeah, this is a game where you level up your poison. This is not a... All the uh, side bait hits. Oh, he needs to be careful. He's already used one of his titles and he's very low HP. He's close to his, uh, his bottle though. So. Be the machine oh. and North are constantly fighting with each other. He is just getting from a rest. It's undying though. It's it's such a tough pick to play against. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's, it's still okay to have a bristle back against him because a lot of other weaker carries would just get completely crushed. Uh, but at least the bristle back is somewhat tanky. Can farm a little bit with the cool spray. And yeah, you can contest a little bit. Yeah. Important to note though is uh, with the latest patch, the zombies now require one hit to kill, which means spells like Cool Spray, which do physical damage, they don't affect them anymore. That's so, equipped to that, yeah. Yeah, they have really no way of killing zombies, they need to bring down a tombstone. Um, and of course, he can play around that quite well, like in a team fight, struggle on tombstone, Phoenix Egg as well, slow their attack speed. And so on, you, you just need to run. And then, then you, if you're starting to get grouped together, then, then you will get a Tyrannicus Rev, you get the Sonic Wave in your face, and somewhere along the way, you have an Impel and other things. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very hard to fight them too. They will definitely need uh, BKB on the TA before they can really do much with her. And to be honest, they don't need that on Bristol as well if he, if he wants to be able to run into these fights. Because can't really tank. Like, he's tanky, but not tanky enough against That's the heroes just... of he. Yeah. This is just so much aggression that they can just put out already. I'm really wondering what will be the time for he to say, okay, let's go five men fight. Because the same will be happening with Dusa. I mean, essentially, they just need levels, right? They need uh, the Thunder God's Wrath, the Phoenix Egg, and the. Uh, then you assume uh, that Sonic Wave, yeah. The one problem is like, who for hair is maybe the better question, who's gonna pick up a mecha? Bad dude's top tower gonna fall over Yeah, this? if That's they actually go for it here. Uh, Phoenix can def we've seen a lot of like uh, Midas into Yules and Phoenix, but now Oh oh be the machine. Ace Rim on Nord, he's just gonna run after him. He's gonna try and deny himself on the Asians. <laughs> oh Nord is not <laughs> waiting. <laughs> he's just hitting <laughs> oh, no. No. He meant, oh. That was too. That was too greedy. <laughs> that was such a good play by North. I mean, yeah. the idea was nice because he aggroed the neutral so that they would hit the undying, right? And then yeah. he could hit after and get the kill. But he was just a bit impatient and he hit too early. So, yeah, he ended up going down to the neutrals. So idea was good, but uh, execution not quite there by North. Yeah. We're still not gonna have first blood. Yeah. No, that was lucky for uh, for beat the machine a little bit. I would say that could yeah. have been a lot worse. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be giving up first blood if you're in the aggressive lane. Fine. Well, at least you're giving it away to the death so it could have been worse. And it looks like they're actually giving farm priority to the Zeus, not to the Nyx, like we had last game. So yeah, they really want levels up on the Zeus so that he can be the main source of damage against the Bristleback early on. Nyx Assassin will get this farm eventually anyway, once he start gank. Yeah. There, there are so many good targets for him right now. And like we said, uh, they're here probably anticipating a lot of pushing coming out, and Nyx is not as useful against that, so... They'd rather just have the... A bit more spam. get levels on yeah. You can just spam a bit more with two. But they're already setting up a middle with all these DA traps. And this mid lane that should have been going Queen of Pains, where you can actually look at the CS. Uh, oh, it's not. It's, 44 it's seems to be crushing, yeah. Got so many denies already. I think it's more than a full level ahead. Actually, it should be more. It's 16. It should be more. Maybe, maybe HW picked up some bounty rooms. He's gonna get another bounty room here. I think so. Because otherwise, it shouldn't be that close. Yeah, it's still definitely not the way they wanted it to go. This is level 6. It gets. Now they need to rotate onto uh, onto four. But rotate. Oh, it. and first blood top on oh, this. Is... Was he still lingering around with solo HP? He got the bullet. 
Yeah, I mean, Nyx just left the lane and so oh. he's not there. KTWA <laughs> okay. just came in and just destroyed it. It's not a great use for it, but... Yeah, although now... Uh, 44 is gonna get yeah, a lot of damage and mid. Tower is gonna drop to half HP, maybe. Maybe a bit more so. Oh, okay, they're gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna force rotation from Zeus. Okay. Uh, yeah, there was no way to get the kill there if both uh, Zeus and Nyx are on the lane. As I said, they can both cancel the shackle, but... As soon as Nyx left, uh, Zeus was alone and there's nothing to break the shackle and he just dies. So a little bit of miscommunication maybe that you know, Nyx is going back to base. Leave him alone. You can't leave him yeah. alone. Not for just that duel. And Nord is taking a lot of damage. One more burn. Oh, they're just gonna Nord jump dead. for him. Oh no. Oh, he's, he's gonna okay, survive yeah. from this though. Doesn't That's even use the grave. Oh, he perhaps he should have used the grave then. <laughs> Yeah, Zeus gets his still with the two and got wet. Yeah. Some basic but strong communication there. Ult, 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 kill him! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how exactly it goes with uh, with Proteus, but I assume it will still be something like that. Yeah, if you actually... If, uh, if you had used the grave, I think the Zeus was a little bit early. Like, you would want to anticipate the grave and wait a little bit for the end. But either way, to get the kill. Fine. As long as they get a kill, I don't really think they care too much about it. But it would have been a play though to be able to break that one off. Mm -hmm. Dave, you're diving behind the tier 1 right now, the first I getting north yeah. out. Yeah, now it's just one dies all out of the way so they, uh, they can get the tower. Yeah, first they get green mango and now they can just start sieging a little. Let's see, they have their egg now. Yeah, he's farming from the stacks. Oh, who's gonna get the spoon? <laughs> and they should be snags it. Oh. And it's in a vis. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> and that's gonna be your reflection gone. And actually, he's gonna rotate multiple heroes in it. He puts down a trap. Um, yeah, he's. Oh, he should be fine. Uh, tombstone? Oh, Nick's rotating behind the tower. Oh, but this is very deep. The Impel oh, yeah. disconnect. And, yeah. They do have the tombstone, so they will just walk Quepe now up and they will just pursue this? No, they won't actually. They're gonna let Quepe die first without. Now they're going back in again. I don't know what they're doing. Brain Impel on the other. That's why they fly through. That's good for me. Like they were walking yeah. back and forward, back and forward. I think this could have been a bit more if And now there's back TPs and after his teammates die, I'm not sure if this is the right call. No, there's gonna be the axe holding them out. Be the machine, use Soul Rip. And there's gonna be Tentacle Grab killing up uh, uh, Green Mango as well. Yeah, they just went in one by one and... Yeah, that's not what you I mean, they didn't lose the tower at least, but... That's... Unnecessary kills to give away. You're losing a lot of momentum as well because... Yeah, the TA had a very nice CS going, but dying like that... That's that not good. Puts her back. And it, oop, in oh, is off the mark. That hit. That would have been a that dead That was either. Yeah, okay. Dezo could have braved him. Yeah. It wouldn't have... He should have... I think he got... Uh, got base? Oh, well, it yeah, have and that's the thing with... Uh, Queen of Pinning against Viper. Uh, Viper, of course, very tanky against magical damage, but uh, when you have something pure like the Sonic Wave, suddenly his actual HP is not that high at all. And he went for Tranquil Boots on the Viper. It's, I haven't seen that on it. Ooh, Wepe, yes, turn around and then kill him 44. Oh, they're actually rotating him. Three heroes now to go for him. There's gonna be the Tombstone. Trying to zone everybody else out while they fight 44. 44, oh he gets great just in time, he's able to get a return kill here right now, no, he's too slow. They're also gonna get the green mango first, oh there's gonna be the death of that and as well. Three and the zero. End. Oh yeah. And this is gonna be a tier 1 mid most likely. Yeah, they're not gonna stop this one. Oh no, man. Good rotation coming out from here there. Crystal pushing out the top lane, Viper pushing bottom, but neither of them have a ring of Basilius, so that push is not gonna be... Yeah, the the tower kill. yeah, the Tranquil Boots and Viper, uh, I'm really not sure about that. I mean, the main reason oh, would be the armor, yeah, but, but why do you need armor against his team is almost entirely magical damage. I, it doesn't pop your Tranquils when you're hit by magic? <laughs> this is, I guess, I really yeah, can, but... <laughs> yeah, what else? I, I really can't think of anything, like... The regen is fine if you gain, you know, if you're constantly ganking, maybe as well. But he's not really ganking. Yeah, and he's going for the mech anyway, which is, you know, enough regen to want to sustain. Yeah, and then you'd rather have, let's say, a threat or something to be able to switch it, so you you lower your manacles for things and like that. 
Yeah, definitely kind of a questionable pick up there. And again, uh, the only one not to bring Bazin's Ring of Aracle is the Templar Assassin, but I think Bristleback should have picked one up as well because we saw he is speed pushing quite a bit. And having that Ring of Bazin's, the armor aura for the peeps, is definitely something you want when you're speed pushing. Yep. It can actually be the difference between getting the tower and not. The egg has been used, but where is the egg being used? Oh, oh. Okay, to okay. farm the jungle. <laughs> I think so, I don't see any kills. What? <gasps> that was but interesting. That was maybe a misclick? Maybe, yeah. I oh. hope we got a less hit with it then. And they're gonna get at least the bot one. The tier one tower. Yeah, they have so many ultimates though, they don't necessarily need five of them up to fight. Uh, just having a tombstone, the Zeus ult, the Sonic Wave, that's all you know. And then you, if you just throw in the Firebirds, you already make sure that they almost can't kill the Toad many. Yeah, it is actually a very, very nice combo. You're gonna steal it? You're gonna see that on the My Sanity soon? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe. Oh, HWA. That's at least a Vibe Strike on cooldown for 70 seconds. It's actually. That actually means that Dusa can fight. Okay. Need the Viper Strike. And 4-4. Oh, oh no, that's not what you want. They go after him, there's gonna be the Sunray. He has no more refraction. There is a mech on the Viper. Yeah, he's gonna keep them alive a little bit longer, but what? okay, he's, he's still gonna tick down. That Sunray was out. Oh, Tombstone, Vendetta hit. Oh, he is. Oh, he has the with the Impel there. I should have tried the first one, even if it misses. You know. yeah, it was. Cl I think it would have actually hit, but yeah. Yeah, it would have, but obviously when one is out of range, then, it's, yeah, then you might have no chance. Not, you can't dive underneath the tower, so... A little bit of problem. Oh yeah, the... I was wondering, un the undying uh, zombies don't give money anymore, but if you're alchemist, I believe, they still uh, give you the gold. Yeah, but but the acid spray doesn't kill them anymore, so you need to hit all of them one by one. Fine. And, and neither does uh, the cleave as well, so... Yeah, pretty much the only thing effective against them is gyrocopter now and split shot from Medusa. Does uh, Milstrom work? Uh, does what? Milstrom? Milstrom? No, no, because they're, they're immune to magic damage, so... Okay, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't completely uh, sure about the interaction with that, so... Even even Kunkka Splash doesn't work anymore, so yeah, definitely a huge buff to yeah, I, and I don't even think he needed that buff. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I don't think he needed it. It's just one of those picks where, uh, like in this game, if you last pick it and you catch your opponent off guard, like the hero is just so powerful. So much pressure. Because yeah, essentially you can fight into it. This, once that one is up, you're just, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you, you almost have to, you have to bait out the tombstone and then fight one, it's a cool one. Yeah. We'll go back and reinitiate re that's what we'll try to split push somehow. Yeah. Ow. We don't really have to swarm fighting. But of course the, the hero does fall off a lot in the late game. And that's his one weakness. Again another uh, X. We won't be able to get any kills. Yeah, it looks like they were just fighting for the ancient stack. Well, HWA oh. is fighting for a kill and he was able to find Green Mango. Nord is scraping himself. But yeah, he's just walking through all these enemies like he's gonna die. But yeah. yeah. 44 does manage to pick up a tower kill bottom lane. So that's something going their way, but they're gonna lose the tier 2 mid now. He's going blink. Tombstone is yeah, Tombstone is still up. Yeah. You think we're gonna see a glimmer cape on him? Having the cloak. <laughs> Well, this game does have pretty much no magical damage. It's only the. Hey, it, it doesn't matter for hey, hey. come on. <laughs> <laughs> they will get it. <laughs> Just for star points, yeah. Why yeah. Like, why would he even get a cloak then? Yeah, you're right, actually. I don't know. If he buys the cloak, then that's probably a glimmer cape. The Shadow Blade? <laughs> well, I can see the Silver Edge does a lot of work, but the Silver Edge or Shadow Blade are not dying. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, it's actually and Midas. Midas, okay. I thought it was gonna be like a blink or something. Like maybe get some. Well, to be fair, without the BKB, how can he blink into yeah. his lineup? He's just gonna get Killed. controlled. Okay. But, yeah, the Midas. That's... Yeah, it's also questionable. I mean, 
It takes so long to get your worth out of it. And it's not like he's ahead, so it's really just a comeback fighters, but there's a team yeah. that is really just wants to fight now and the upcoming ten minutes. That the attack speed is decent, but for the exact same gold he could have picked up a Yasha. Uh which yeah also gives him movement speed and a little bit of damage, so it's much better fighting at him. And it still boosts his farming speed. If, um, if he wanted something to farm faster, yeah, that would have been the option. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the main reason for the Midas is to get the levels because of the XP boost. But it's not like the TA benefits that much from levels. I mean, he's only level 11 anyway. And, yeah. yeah. He will cap off, but what is it? He's level 11. After that, you have Nihis, uh, HWA, and the Kuhn, also with 11. How much more are you gonna get ahead with those levels? You're gonna level side blades up. Yeah, exactly. So There's no. Not as huge as TA is. Yeah. And they go for uh, for a lifelong tragedy. Lifelong? Oh, yeah, shit. Lifelong tragedy, yeah. I just used someone. Okay. Screw me. And on the back line, HWA is finding someone near his own ward, and the Coon gets another kill as well. Now Green Mango is some is in trouble. They see him, they have actually a necro book. I, who the hell purchased it? And Shadow Shadow gets picked up. They're just dying one by one. Picked apart. Ah, Nihis, he went for a. Uh, on the Phoenix, went for a necro book. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's a. Uh, yeah, that's a nice choice. I'm actually amazed that we don't see more of those because they had a quite significant buff. So, more, what is more HP, more. The auras are better and stuff like that. So. Yeah, exactly. And. Yeah, on a hero like Phoenix is nice because you have something to control during your egg. Yeah, if you just have it already popped, then it's fine. Like. They're gonna see Roche by Dusa. Definitely nice. I mean, it's it's a nice little boost, but not nearly enough to bring them back into the game. No, but they they will need to do this at least. Yeah, Roche is falling down now. Before we pick it up, but again, can it fight now? Question mark. Yeah, I think TA needs definitely needs the BKB and maybe even a lot of damage item. Don't be honest, just with the BKB, he already hits quite hard and has quite a bit of attack speed with minus threats. So. I don't think there's a lot of armor. Yeah, there's not a lot of armor on the side of him. Hey. Yeah, if he does pick the pick up the BKB, they can fight. That's for sure. Um, to be able to, what, to shot most of them actually, maybe three. Yeah, although the problem now is that they don't have a lot of disable. It's pretty much only Rasta. And Rasta, despite the strength buff, he's still very squishy and can't really afford to run and run shackle, and, yeah. Yeah, shackle people. Yeah. Uh, even if they just let the duration end, it's like, you know, you're, it's, you're still gonna die. It's, this is what uh, I think he should have been doing, just go top, but yeah, straight up the TP already, he can't even put down his wards. Mm, then maybe he could set up a bait, no, 44 is just gonna take it now. That's also fine. Almost a deny there. The mango TP out. Repa, he has, there hasn't been a lot done by this Nyx, I want. They're actually slowed down the pace of the game really hard. Yeah, well it is a position 5 Nyx, I think it's uh, fair, I mean, it still, you know, gives that little bit of threat where, you know, he can scout with a vendetta and catch people off guard, but... Forcing the supports to buy more sentries and just... Also yeah, exactly. cost you money. Um, he's actually rushing the aggro sector, which he will get eventually. Takes some time. Even as a 5 position Nyx, yeah. He's TPing out, but just look at it, they just waited for him to do that. But yeah. it's so well played. And he, he can't TP out now, that's the problem. He's just stuck here. He goes in this, but yeah, there you go. Can't re pop that he's just gonna die there. Yeah, he was out of position. I mean he got they, they got the tier one tower. There's no reason to stay there after getting the tower. Hey he just capitalized on that. Well, the one thing he did do is buy time for the mid push. Yeah, they yeah, port up some heroes too. But is it worth we'll losing your minutes. your like pretty much your most important hero you just lost for tier one? How much is that worth? No, no, definitely not worth it. The tower is more of a consolation prize than anything. Like it's, yeah, it gives them more map control. That's easy access to Rorsch and everything. But Rorsch has just been taken, and 
top tower is under attack. It's not like AA are gonna you know, slow down just because of this one tower. Yeah, and there you see the glimmer kit complete on the online. Uh, so maybe. It's so. It, oh man. <laughs> the magic resistance, yeah, obviously not very relevant this game, but it does. Invisibility can potentially save someone, like let's say the TA. Yeah, manages to catch the pain of pain with the blink on cooldown and then you just pop the glimmer cape. And TA is always not going to be carrying any detection, so. It could still save his team potentially. It would also just annoy uh, the whole enemies all the time, which is fun. They actually also have a, uh, a glimmer cape on North. Okay, so they have their own. Yeah, for them, it's, it's a bit more expected, like, why not? Yeah, for sure. So it's, much it's better. It's greatest, all that. Give it to TA, which is fighting, like. Fine. And yeah, uh, TA is saved at 4k gold, so yeah, it's it's either the BKB or maybe a Desolator. Um, but De okay, Desolator is really strong, but he's just gonna die. Yeah, he can't afford to actually go in if he goes for Deso, but at least, okay, it is gonna be the BKB. Yeah, the like, should be Piper also just got his, so Piper, but they're actually already gonna be the totem. They're trying to focus now, that one now. Uh, yeah, he boxed the, the BKB, but well, that was very early. Yeah. Okay, so the Viper BKB is pretty much wasted, they only bring down Tombstone. Yeah. It's just for Tombstone. And now and TA's BKB. Yeah. And okay, this so also, it, this team has to the now. Cape. Yeah, it saves him, yeah. And this is gonna be the act just zoning them out, like, they can't walk in now. There's gonna be the impel, there's gonna be Tinnacle's Rest as well! There's gonna be the Sonic! Look at this combo coming out there, North is going to fall, 44 is gonna fall, Flo is gonna fall. This is just 4 men down already. Oh, Green Mango also died. Oh, he was just yeah. crazy for me to see. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was perfectly done by he. I mean, it's like we talked about. They they have the BKBs, but they have no way to keep them locked down. They can so just walk away, and they just completely took the bait, and now he's also yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they had to chase, because they use their BKBs. They had to yeah. run and try to get some kills, but they got kited. But and, yeah. If you see the egg, you should know, like, go back, like... Yeah, at that point they should definitely back. There was a very nice egg by Nihus, so obviously he didn't buy any attack speed slow, but he started it, off it when they were far away. They had to yeah. stun, they had to impale. <laughs> yeah, they, they couldn't close the distance in time. So. It won't lose them their tower, but it will lose them a big swing, I want to say. Let's see, uh, uh -huh. back to 5k gold on net worth and over 7.5k on, uh, on experience. Yeah, he actually gonna back off. Uh, there is the network 3 now up on Phoenix. So it definitely adds a lot to their pushing power uh, because again they have no real heroes can take towers. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. That will help it's okay. it out. The Necro. If they want to start pushing towers down, they have to get a death zone in the plane. It's weird. It looks like he's gonna pop the Necro here to farm the jungle. He's probably gonna try and deward with it afterwards. Yeah. It's a very safe way to deward. Yeah. Yeah, if you know with your team you're not gonna push it, you might as well use it. No reason to keep it in your inventory when you're not doing anything with it. Yeah, sure. He's gonna scout a bit with it. Yeah, he, he sees them. Oh, he actually backs up. He doesn't want to feed the current gold each. Yeah. It's a lot of bounty actually on the Necros. Yeah, oh, they're actually smoked up. They're trying to look for something. And they're still here. Do they have the egg? They have the egg. They have the tombstone. They do have the hex from Rasta. We can definitely pick someone up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's gonna be... I think the guns just gonna leave him behind. Yeah, that's a good kill. Yeah. But... They really wanted to have the Queen of Pain, you know, if they had the choice, obviously. Zero deaths on HWA, zero deaths on the Phoenix as well. That's actually Those are the big. kills they really want, yeah. But Let's see, one death on Quepe and one death on the Queen Life. Probably not dying at all. Oh, Tenegal's wife. Just okay, that was, that was interesting. They tried to combo up the Sonic Wave and the Tenegal's wrath, because the Refraction would just take down. But he actually used no strike right after the Sonic Wave, so the Thunder God's Wrath revealed him, but it didn't hit him because it doesn't actually hit the invisible units. That's well, it's a nice play to try. So and yeah, you, I mean you, they you, don't they don't lose much. I mean. No, it's like it's not going to be like this high. like oh my god, now I can go and push it. Like they're not gonna do that. Yeah. And this next is in position five, but actually almost finished the Diagonal Scepter. Yeah. And yeah. really, oh, misses the impel. Yeah. I think he missed quite a lot so far. Right? But, yeah, he's just putting out this immense amount of pressure. Like you can't leave your base without him being there. How to go? Oh, there's gonna be the micro units, and there's already a lot of damage to 44. He killed him. 
But at least he can pop his BKB now, but look at how loud he is. They're fo focusing down the, uh, the totem, yeah. but in the back lines, there's the egg popping it, and they're just gonna die now. Yeah, there you go. They're all falling. Long live tragedy. Live long tragedy is gonna die now. Already three kills. That was actually yeah. pretty big with the uh, with the necro between units. 44 killed one of them, and he didn't have refraction of so he took 400 damage of it. Oh, was that the huge nuke? Okay. Yeah, yeah. and after that, it followed up with the uh, Sonic Wave as well. Yeah, and then he got he got a build before using his BKB, so he took a lot of damage to everything. And then he used BKB, and then he got pure damage thrown in his face. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, guys, at least I can BKB, but then, okay, the Sonic Wave comes through. Yeah, but, but it was like the same problem with last game, which is you know, Core is not getting the BKBs off in time. And it's it's really not easy when you have so many things like the Impale. Here you can see the casting animation, but there's a lot of stuff you need to keep track of in the fights. Yeah, it's not. And it's just not only the Impale. That's the problem. Like, if it's just, just the Impale, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. And we saw what happened on mid when they use the BKBs early, you know, safely, so they don't get stunned off. Then, you know, he just, they run away and they wait yeah, out that the was just too early, I want to say, that was... Yeah, but then if you wait, like they did in this situation, they wait a bit, you know, then they get hit by the pill, and then, you know. it's, it's hard to get, like, this perfect uh, timing for it. Yeah, exactly. You want to be able to initiate yourself, so then you know when you want to be KB. And now we actually also see the Aghanim's go. Yeah, and, and this is the nice thing about it. He rushed it, so... Uh, now he just has the sustain. You can just keep him ganking, never go back to that. Exactly. But portable falcon. <laughs> Only problem is, you know, you can't refill your bottle there. So. <laughs> no, no funny place there. Uh, oh no! You see Phoenix going for the oh viper. And yeah, that was worth it. Some harassment, and then you lose your B another BKB charge. There you go. That was your eight second BKB charge. <laughs> to make matters worse, yeah, HWI has a region room. That's gonna leave him back up. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's just that's just mean. <laughs> he just he, he, with the region room, he just throws out his ultimate like, eh? That's just yeah. push it with it. Oh, kill being attempted here on the pool. Oh, oh, 44. He's actually completely <laughs> alone. His team is nowhere near. Yeah. He, d he won't even get the cool. he will just die. Oh, Brave is there in time, no need, he has to act and he will do that in time. He's trying to TP out, is he gonna make this? No, he won't. He's dead. Well. That, that was just a desperation attempt, I feel it's... Well, they have Bristleback split pushing, but... How much is that worth? Yeah, he, he dealt about one third of the tier 3's damage. And now he's just getting changed out, he's turned into a piggy. And Impil okay, whiffs again. Whiffs. He could maybe TP out here. Yeah, he, oh, he's he, actually turning on HWA. If he gets the skill, that's a lot of money. He gets Gold like streak. Oh man, that's. He can turn on. Could be as well. Oh, but the damage. He really goes into. <laughs> oh, it blocks off. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it still blocks him. Wow. Look at this. This is. This is annoying. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that it blocked actually. I thought you could just walk over it. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, apparently. It's invisible and it blocks you. It's, yeah, it's. A hill, you would assume that somebody could walk over a hill. A hill. <laughs> Patch of dirt. Especially a hill that you can't see. Yeah. Are, are you, you are able to see him, right? If he's in uh, Burrow. Not like he's in this. Uh, no, I think he was invisible because. Uh, yeah, stationary invisible if you hover yeah. over the icon. Because yeah. the, otherwise, the Bristol could have tried to hit him. But. Okay, that explains why, because. Or wondering, like, why is the person not hitting him? And load yeah, sword. So. Let's see, yeah, what do we have? Load sword, the phoenix. Okay, so they essentially they have to block Hex. Uh, I f always forget the first skill. I mean, was it the Eater Shock? Okay. Yeah, Eater Shot, Hex, Shackle. A uh, little bit of Poison Touch, Fight for Strike. And almost Octarine Orc picked up on the Zeus. Okay. And once he has that. No way they can kill him. No, I'm just happy we won't see Quapa with it. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is the better hero <laughs> to go with. But, yeah, yeah but for sure, for sure. With with a fail Bloodstone and Oxygen Core, it's gonna be so tough to kill him, and he will dish out so much damage. And even if we kill him, he just responds instantly and DOTs back into the fight. Oh, it's looking very, very tough. 
you lose him. And there you go, to go again. But at the same time, 44 is still split pushing. You're and gonna lose he has there, 4k gold again, but the thing is, the TA could be 6 lord, but it does a matter when you can go in. Right. And look, oh, too much almost killed off uh, the Viper there. Oh, yeah, and 44, he comes in, but his whole team is already backed up, so he's pretty much just fighting solo. He does get swept away. The, the next, okay. yeah, he got his death, so that's why he's doing so much. And the Kuni, he's just been fighting them. He's trying to go at this, but yeah, four are a little bit too much for you. Now you're a little piggy and now uh, chicken in this case. If me and respawn, and they just build these back in. Oh, the oh he's gonna keep going. I want to say, is this gonna be the Viper just being in there casually? Okay. He's back already, man. Yeah, and he so got that was... He just wanted his item. That's it. Viper Strike is oh, there, but it just... <laughs> yeah. yeah, then you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Lotus Orb, man. Like, you have more than enough time to respond to a Viper Strike. So. Yeah, and also the like, risk like chasing someone, you just throw it in the loop, goes on himself as well. And there's actually gonna be the uh, the birds out, but they're gonna get the tombstone for this. But yeah, like, HW actually got text up there, and with the Lotus Orb just dispelled it. Yeah, they're gonna go for the Coon, and oh, the Coon is actually gonna they die. Actually die again. Yeah, they, they, are they actually able to get this one on time? Oh, yeah, the, the it is gonna get no. off. Flo is gonna die because of this, and 44 as well. Yeah, no buybacks. This is. Ooh, machine just survived. HWR, he sees Nord, and it's just yeah, gonna GG out. No buyback on TA, it's the only both really. So we have the winners of. Well, the winners, we have uh, the two people that are actually gonna go through in the group. Now, my insanity and hey hey. Actually, already true, man. Yeah. So you, let's see, my insanity. So you guys will be playing versus the number two from the group, and the other way around, or the number one, if you would. Yeah, we're gonna have to play as the, I guess, to determine the the seeding for the next stage. Yeah, we will uh, schedule that match, and we'll keep you guys updated on that. For now, I wanna first thank Slash. Uh, Joining me for these two matches, man. You got any shout outs left? Go follow your stream or something. Oh, okay, yeah, just uh, shout out to my stream at you know, Twitch TV slash Rock. Uh, I stream, you know, some, some pubs. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed casting with you. Uh, it was definitely fun. First time casting for an audience and yeah, interesting games. Yeah, you did good. I just want to have some household uh, well, announcements, I guess. Uh, we're with Swiss CC, we're looking for some more people to join us uh, in the company. We need some more people to help us out. I need some stream moderators here because I see a lot of messages and I can't just respond to them while casting. We need uh, community managers, we need a head of operations, that's a little bit of a tougher job. So, And we also need some more additions to our tournament team. Feel free to send a message to info at swissdotacommunity.ch or to me, uh, Mr. Madness at uh, swissdotacommunity.ch Apart from that, I'll guys take over the, uh, the schedule for tomorrow real fast. Tomorrow we're going to be having Group B. Our, let's see, we have Game Online, we have Goomba, we have London Conspiracy, and we have Scary Fate. I think you're happy you're not in that group, are you? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely uh, going to be a tough group. So um... Guys, yeah, join us in tomorrow, we'll be having some great matches with them. We'll start from, what is it, 2 ET and we'll finish in about 20 ET, the last match you have been over. I want to see you say, say till then guys and I hope you guys will join us, follow us and all those other good things.